Well good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and this is a video about my Slimming World journey and my most recent weigh-in. So as I said it's now Sunday. I weighed in on Thursday and as you can see we're out in the garden making the most of the sunshine. I've currently got a puppy under my dress. He's uh, making mo the most of the shade and a husband behind the camera. Um, his first weekend off for a while so we're enjoying some time together. So first of all, um, here's my book and um, if you remember last week I gained half a pound and I weighed 11 stone 8. So I reset my target, my target was previously 12 stone and I reset my target to 11 stone 7. Um, and I would have to pay for, pay for group until I hit my new target. Uh, so I paid for group on Thursday and I went and I lost a pound and a half. So I did hit my new target, meaning that I now weigh 11 stone six and a half, so half a pound under my target, and that's with a total loss of 15 stone one pound or 211 pounds. So I'm absolutely delighted with that and I've had a really good on-plan week um, and as of Friday I did start um, introducing uh, extra healthy extras um, and you'll see I've been posting some maintenance food diaries which I hope you've been fi finding interesting and helpful. And on that note I thought I'd talk about the current book or guide for target members which it says love the new you staying at your dream weight for life now I do understand that there is something new from coming from Slimming World in the next couple of weeks but I thought I'd have a little chat about this current book my thoughts on it and the biggest tips for staying at target um, so the introduction from Margaret is pretty good um, she says we're proud that having fully embraced food optimizing body magic and our magical group support you need never be trapped in the misery of overweight again so yeah that that is definitely the three biggest tips in this book continue to food optimize continue to do body magic and continue to go to group uh, and we'll come back to that later. Um, you've developed healthy new habits and now have all the tools you need to enjoy a happy new future. So I'll go through the, the biggest tips from this book and my thoughts. And if you didn't know, when you reach your personal achievement target, which is exactly that, your personal achievement target, you can set a target weight whatever, wherever you feel comfortable. It doesn't have to be within BMI par parameters or anything like that. It, it's just whatever weight you feel comfortable at. And the usual rules are if you want to raise or lower your target, it has to be by seven pounds. But if you want to, your consultant does have discretion so please have a chat with your consultant about raising or lowering your personal achievement target. Um, and when, once you reach your target, uh, you will have free group membership for life as long as you stay within three pounds of your target weight. So say your target weight was 12 stone, um, your target range would be 11 stone 11 to 12 stone three. And as long as you stay in that range, you get you are entitled to free group membership. So you can attend group for free. And if you uh, weigh in one week and you're under or above your target, you get one grace week. Um, so you, you attend the group one week, you're under or over your target. You then get another week to get back into target. And... On that second week, if you're not back into your target, you will then have to pay for group. And that's how Slimming World Target works. So, um, what the, um, 
the main focus of the um, target book is getting into new grooves, which hopefully you should have established by now, by when you've reached target. So the new grooves that uh, we should be getting into, we'll go through. Um, and it's, you should be, when you get into your target weight, while you're on your weight loss journey, you should be adopting new habits that you set up for, that have set you up for life. And oh the key to long-term weight maintenance lies in keeping up these habits. Uh, and that's called getting into a new groove. And you can see there the percentage of people that, that do these habits. So 90% continue food optimizing, 90% continue doing body magic. Um, there's Charlie Luck. And for example, 30% eat fewer meals at restaurants. So that's worth um, looking at. So the first and most important new groove is to continue food optimizing. 90% of successful weight loss maintainers continue their low fat or low energy diet. Um, so continue with uh, making free food the main part of what you eat. Um, making at least one third of your plates sp speed free food and choose free foods as snacks between meals. So hopefully during your weight loss journey you've been adopting these habits and if you continue when you're at target then that should really help. And um, the two main tips for continuing to food optimise alongside using free food and speed food if you find you're still losing weight, we recommend you increase your healthy extras slowly. Um, most of what you eat should still be free food with at least one third free food. And then lastly is increase your sins with great care. And Slimming will recommend you increase them slightly on a daily basis rather than allowing yourself a bit of a blowout at weekends. And that is what I intend to do. So I intend to increase my healthy extras, um, as you've seen in my maintenance food diaries. And on the occasional evening or weigh-in night or weekend or whatever, I'll have a little treat of a little bit of ice cream or um, a pint of cider or something like that to help me maintain my weight. The second biggest tip is to um, incorporate regular activ activity or body magic. 90% of successful weight loss maintainers have incorporated regular activity. <laughs> is, in the, uh, is into the uh, rose basket now. So body magic or exercise is is a really good way of maintaining your weight loss and also um, it's a good way of keeping body positivity and um, like increasing increasing your the um, sorry I've lost my tra tra train yeah, I found that body magic and exercise has increased my positive mindset made me feel more positive about everything made me feel much more energetic and active and um, exercise gives positive feedback in your brain I can't remember the name of it but you, you get like a buzz from exercising and doing things regularly will help will make you feel like more like eating well um, so yeah I really recommend keeping up your exercise and uh, body magic um, and then you've got some tips there for it for incorporating um, just easy easy ways to incorporate exercise into your life. So switch sedentary activities for active ones. Find something you enjoy doing. Stand up for your health. Every 20 minutes take a break from sitting and move for a minute to boost your metabolism. Walking is probably the easiest form of exercise. This is what I was trying to talk about. Relieve your stress. Uh, you get endorphins from um, doing exercise. Endorphins aren't called feel-good chemicals for nothing. Exercise is the perfect stress reliever. 
try something new like zumba cheerleading hula hooping or bakwa and get your family involved so yeah some great tips for exercise there um, the next biggest tip is plan and prepare and have main, mainly food, healthy foods at home. So 82% of successful maintainers make sure they have mainly healthy foods at home. Um, so do your shopping, plan your shopping list, plan your weekly meals um, and have don't have a lot of um, off plan foods in your house. Um, it says things like avoid distractions when you're eating, have a shopping list, be prepared when you're on the road, plan ahead when you eat out, be aware of danger zones like parties and buffets, enjoy your breakfasts, um, plan your drinks, know how your favourite drinks measure up, food plus food optimising friendly ways to make your drinks go further without adding extra sins. So there are lots and lots of tips in this booklet not just for target members but for um, the overall weight loss plan as well <laughs> there he is look so the next biggest tip is be consistent 50 percent of successful weight loss maintainers follow a consistent eating pattern so as i said um, if you make a weekly menu plan, um, be consistent week on week and that will really help you. And if you know roughly what you're going to be eating, then it really will help and assist you to keep, to maintain your weight and buy the same sort of things every week, but also try new things. Um, exactly, keep it fresh. Discovering exciting new ways to enjoy foods, trying new recipes, finding an, a new love for fruit and veg. So it's all here in the in the book. And eat until you're satisfied. Naturally slim people stop eating when they're full. It takes 20 minutes for the brain to register that we're full. So putting a bit less on your plate and taking time over your food are great habits to get into. And that consistency, um, doing the same things, eating, eating the free foods and the speed foods, but at the same time keeping it fresh and trying new things. Will, will, will keep you there. Um, let's just have a look. Oh, so the next, the next biggest tip, especially um, for me, um, is recognise your emotional triggers. Understand your emotional grooves. So some people will have. Um, will be an emotional eater so if you have a lapse or you do emotionally eat then the biggest um, tip is cope with that lapse so learn how to cope with your lapses and get back on track um, is the biggest thing so recognize and prepare for emotional eating stock up on free and low sin snacks to help manage those times Identify your trigger foods and drinks. Stay aware of the potential dangers they might pose to your regular healthy eating plan and mon monitor them carefully. And if you go on track, don't beat yourself up. Draw a line under it, forgive yourself and get straight back to food optimising. And um, the last and most important, one of the most important tips is still to go to group. So stay in your weekly group groove and I would really recommend still going to group. Um, in my group there's a lot of target members and it really really helps to hear their stories and their tips um, to, to go to group and also you can share your tips of how you got to target and how you're staying there um, and I'll definitely still be going to group. Um, I'm on the social team so that's really helping me go every week. Um, and this says, um, why your group needs you, the help and personal insight you can give. As I say, you can share your tips and your own motivational, inspirational story. You become a lifeline to other members and you need to go to group because it will help maintain your new slim weight. 
Um, regular monitoring of their weight helps them to stay on track. You can share great new food ideas. You'll keep food optimising and body magic habits at the forefront of your life and you'll be able to share your experiences. And one of the biggest motivations, so then, sorry, we'll just go through the target grooves checklist. Um, you, are you food optimising like a pro? Filling up on liberating free food and speed food as part of my healthy everyday life. Keep my fridge and cupboards packed with free foods. Not much space for high sin foods anymore. Loving being active, moving more and sitting down less. Going to group regularly and keeping an eye on my target weight. Breakfasting like a king to set me up for a food optimising day. Forgiving myself for any lapses and getting right back on track. Enjoying meals out every now and again. Raising the odd glass, knowing my sins, often switching for low sin options and having a safe tipple plan and enjoying a fully active lifestyle with active hobbies and new friends. A whole new outlook on my new slim future. And finally, one of the biggest um, motivations for staying at Target is once you've done a year at Target, you can become a Dazzling Diamond member. Um, achieving your dream weight is something to be celebrated with bells on. And maintaining your weight is just as big an achievement. That's why we have a special award to celebrate every single Diamond member. Those inspirational people who've continued to come along to group and maintain their personal achievement target for a year. And then every summer they hold a special competition for the Diamond member. So that's worth thinking about as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if any of the target members want to share their stories and tips, I've managed to lose £211 in just over two years with Slimming World. I've maintained for three or four weeks and I'm hoping to really continue that journey. I am looking forward to the new target plan book we'll see what Slimming World have in store for us. So thank you for watching, thank you to my new subscribers and to all those of you who've supported me along the way. If you'd like to see more, then please like, comment and subscribe. Click that bell for future notifications and I'll see you next time.